In this lecture, we are going to learn what is mid-surfacing, why it is useful and how to extract mid-surface in Hypermesh. So whenever we have a plate like this, for this plate you can see it has a width and it has a height and it has a thickness. So whenever two dimensions are very large as compared to third dimension, you can see in this here, width and height are very large as compared to thickness. So in these types of situation, instead of creating a 3D mesh, we are going to create a 2D mesh. So 2D means we are going to extract the mid surface of the part and we are going to only mesh the mid surface and then we are going to provide the thickness to that mesh. So this is called mid surfacing. So mid surfacing is very useful. Almost all the sheet metal parts, body of a car, plastic part are done using the mid surface meshing. So in mid surface meshing, the popular elements are quad and tria and additional data means the remaining thickness or the dimension. And then element type we use this thin shell, plate element, membrane, plane stress, plane strain condition. In, in all these conditions, we are going to use the mid surface. Application is sheet metal part plastic part like instrumental panel. Mid surfacing is very important in hypermesh. So now before going to hypermesh it is very important to understand some basic concepts. So we need to understand why we always use the mid surface. So this concept come from the beam bending equation. If you consider we have a beam like this. So this is our beam. And you can see this is a very symmetric beam I and mean, you can consider any cross section area for this. Let's say this is rectangular in cross section. Okay. For this beam, we are going to apply a vertical downward or bending load. You can see these arrows are representing the force. So what will happen after some time is the beam is going to bend like this. And when we take a look closely, you can see the upper side of the beam this is the or you can say lower side of the beam is in tension and the downward side this side is in compression. Now there is an axis that is called the neutral axis. In case of symmetric beam it is in between. This axis is called neutral axis. So according to the beam theory this neutral axis is not in compression and not in tension. This is basically a type of neutral plane or neutral axis. So that is why we always use the mid surface because it is a neutral axis. So in case of mid surfacing or 2D element, we have tria element and then we have quad element. So tria element has triangular shape, quad has quadrilateral shape. So again in tria, we have L3 and L6. We are going to understand them in more depth when we go to the software. So in tria 6 element, it also had nodes at the midpoint. Here you can see these are second order element. So this is first order, this is second order. Whenever there are nodes at the midpoint, it is going to be second order element. So we are going to cover this concept later about this LST and CST. So now let's go to hypermesh software and let's understand how to extract the mid surface. So we go to the hypermesh. And in your project file, you will need to open up a file, go to open. So in your 2D mesh folder, go to mid surface and open up this file that is clip.midsurface. So in this file, you can see we have a sheet metal part. So now first of all, let me change the color of this. Okay, here is material specifying. We don't need this material. So what we can do is we can select this material. Okay, here select this material, right click, delete this. Click yes, we don't need it. Go to component. We can change the color. Right now the color is blue. Let's say go to this color. Let's say I pick up this color. Okay, this is much better. Now in this part you will see if I go zoom in here. Okay, in the type of display I will go to here. I will take let's say this is mixed. So I prefer this mixed option because it is going to highlight edges more properly. So now Let's zoom out. Here you can see in this part, it is basically 
a sheet metal part. So this part has some thickness. So if you want to check the thickness, press F4 from the keyboard. And here we need to select points. Click on this icon of highlighting the point. So points are visible. Select the first point, select second point. You can see the distance. So distance is almost 0 0.9. So this is a part of thickness 0 0.9. And sheet metal parts are of constant thickness. So for example, let's say I will check the thickness here. It will have same thickness. So select this, you can see 0 0.9. But in case of plastic part, the thickness is not constant or uniform. So now in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the mid surface of this part. To extract the mid surface, go to geometry panel. Here you will see mid surface. So in this mid surface, we have multiple options. And most of the options are for plastic component where the thickness is not uniform. So we are going to cover that in a different section, meshing of plastic part. Now here you will see auto mid surface. So in hyper mesh, there's an automatic option of extracting the mid surface. We are going to use it. There's also a manual option. We will also cover it. So right now here we need to select auto mid surface and here are some settings like auto extraction, etc. We are going to take automatic option right now. Now here we need to select surface or solid. Sometimes this can be as a surface. So let's say I click here. You can see this is a complete surface. Or sometimes the geometry can be a complete solid. So just click on this arrow and we can select according to the requirement. For example, click on this reset. If it is not selecting with its surface, you, you can select this with solid. Right now you can see all these are surfaces, not solid. So it is not selecting. I'm clicking on this part, but it is not selecting. So here I will go to surface, click here, make sure all surfaces are selected. If all surfaces are not selecting properly, you can click on surface, go to displayed. Now click on extract. So hyper mesh has extracted the mid surface. If I zoom in onto the part, you can see a free edge or red color edge between the part. Here you can see it properly. So it has extracted the mid surface. Click on return. In the component, you can see a new component has been added. So to check the mid surface, what I do, I will hide this component. So uncheck on this. Okay, now I zoom in here. Let's change the color of this. Click on this and change it to some proper color. Let's let's say I change this to this color. Okay. I will take it, let's say, let's say this is purple. Okay, now you can see we have a mid surface and this mid surface has no thickness. So we are going to do the meshing on this surface and later on we are going to apply the thickness. For example, let's say I do a general mesh. To do the meshing, go to auto mesh, go to 2D auto mesh. So we are going to cover this as a general mesh. So in more depth, we are going to cover this option later. We need to select an element size. Let's say I will take element size five. It is going to select the surface. So I will say displayed and click on mesh. So I do a general mesh, click on return. So you can see a mesh has been created. After that, let's say I want to apply a thickness to this mesh and check whether the thickness is proper or not. To do this, I will need to create a property. So I will make a right click here, go to create and go to property. Okay, give it some name. I'm taking this as a default. Then I will click on property. In the card image, this is a shell part. So we need to select P shell. Thickness we know is 0 0.9. Okay, it also has option of applying the material, but now we are not taking the material. Then go to this part in the property, click on property once again and select this property. Okay, so with this option, we have assigned the property to this component and we need to apply this property to the component which has the mesh. You can see the mid 
surface 2 has the mesh you can see I turn it off and on now if you want to check the thickness what I can do is go to this option click on this arrow select the second option detailed element representation with this option the thickness will be applied to the element now I turn on the component 1 okay now you can see if I zoom in here the thickness has been applied to the element so this is the method of extracting the mid surface and applying the thickness also we have manual option of creating the mid surface right now what I do I will delete this property in mid surface right click delete this select this mid surface right click and delete it we don't need it after that go to geometry and go to mid surface once again so in this mid surface there are many options down there and we are going to take this option that is final edit tool so with this final edit tool is basically a manual method you can see it is going to show side 1 and side 2 so we need to select two opposite surfaces for example let's say I want to find out the thickness of this surface so select this face okay once again click on this surface 1 select this now for the second surface select the opposite surface so rotate the part like this select the opposite surface click on extract so you can see a mid surface has been extracted I will click on this right click isolate only you can see the mid surface so again this is a basically a manual method whenever the automatic mid surface tool not work properly we use this manual option so later on in the course we are going to cover this mid surfacing option in more depth